Why do you think it is that Jesus chose wild-spirited men all throughout the Bible? Moses was a murderer, David was an adulterer, James and John were these crazy, I mean, he chose Paul a terrorist. And he chose all these ragtag disciple teenage boys. Why did he do that? Well, because the definition of a Christian man is in the word meekness. And that doesn't mean meek as a mouse. That's not the cultural definition, which meekness means weakness. No, no, no. That word meekness in the Bible, the root word is prowess. And that word means to tame a wild mustang. You see, the Greeks would go into the mountains and they would find these wild mustangs who were battle-tested and hardened by nature, and they would meek them, it's a verb, into war horses. Because only a mustang, a wild horse that had been through all of that struggle, it, what was connected to its master in such a loving way because it had been meek, it had taken the time, it had, it had waited on the Lord, it had gone through all of the processing that Jesus had for in the round pen. Only that man, only that Mustang could run 30 miles an hour into battle and not be phased by the flaming arrows. You see, Jesus is looking for men who are wild enough to answer the call of discipleship. He's not looking for good church boys who will, who will add up and, and, and get in line. He's looking for men who are just crazy enough to answer the call to go to the ends of the earth who are so in love with him that they'll say, you get on my back, put the bit in my mouth, I will go to war for you, Jesus, who will be meek as a Mustang.